What's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. And also we're out in the desert in Southern Utah with the MDC crew. They came all the way out from Australia. We're camping, we're having fun, but this was a perfect opportunity for me to show off the East West. We have a tour of the 16 Island already, so you can go and check out that video in the link below if you wanna see a tour. This was the model that we didn't have that I wanted to showcase, but it's out here. We're out camping in it right now. Vaughn, the actual owner of MDC, he's staying in this trailer, so hopefully it's not a mess. Hopefully he's cleaned it up for us, but I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. So this isn't gonna be in depth. Also, Steve is out with us. He's kind of the main guy that does the videos in Australia. So he's probably gonna be doing some walk arounds, showing me, teaching me stuff about the MDC. I'm really excited. We're almost a week together and we're gonna be everywhere from Moab, Monument Valley, Zion. We're down in San Hollow, the desert by the lake right now. So, but let's walk around this unit really quick and just showcase it. Like I said, this is the, the, the XT16HR. That HR stands for hard roof. So there's no canvas in this. 16 foot box. This is a perfect trailer for a couples. It has a dry bath, so you're not dealing with that wet bath. But over here, I'm just gonna go quickly. This is your fridge compartment. Right now we're running all the fridges. This unit's brand new, so I got the fridge. But you have lights in here as well. Coming over to here, this is the kitchen. And I, more and more, am in love with these kitchens. These kitchens are designed really well. First, you have to pull this mechanism up here to unlock it and then pull it out everything is just really well thought out see this strap right here it holds this down so when you're driving down you know those rough road it's gonna hold it in place then you have these rubber grommets when they land here it's protected there's it's not gonna be scratching you got a windshield and then that pops up I was just cooking eggs this morning and I was actually shocked in how fast they were cooking I had to keep on turning it on low because it was cooking too fast and I was trying to time everybody when they were ready. But yeah, so right here, that flips down, this goes up. And then I was like playing with it. I'm like, why doesn't it open? Oh, there's a clip. It actually holds it in place. So it doesn't just rattle all over the place. And then of course this locks in as well up here and you have two locks in here. So you have that place to store your dishes, a dry rack. Also some good storage throughout. Let's head inside and then we'll come back out and finish the outside in just a second. So you have a light bar. Also you can see nice lighting throughout the whole trailer. As we step up here into the stairwell, you have some nice ambient lighting. Come on inside. Here we are, full kitchen inside and outside. You can see you have a sink right here. You got the three burner Furion and then you also have an oven. And this is a good size oven. Furion's a great brand. You also have your Furion hood and that has a fan and a light as well. Cabinetry is all a falcata plywood. So it's all real wood. So you're not dealing with any honeycomb. Honeycomb, the issues with honeycomb sometimes is when it gets hot and cold, they can expand and retract really and it can warp and be really bad. So you do have a nice veneer and then you have that solid wood all the soft closed cabinets you drop down and then this locks in and then you to open it you have to turn this knob so everything is a locking latch which is what you need when you're off-roading you need to be able to lock things up i love this two-tone from the white to the black and just deep drawers look how deep these drawers are i'm not going to go into crazy crazy detail like i said because I'm gonna have a full tour. And one of the things we are known for here at ROA is really in-depth, detailed tours. I'll do a full hour long tour where I walk around this. We do have access to the East West, 16 East West trailers at ROA in South Carolina and Utah. You just gotta let us know if you wanna get one, we can order one. Right now we don't have one for show, but we can get one if we get a lot of people asking for it. Okay, so this is the bathroom. Let me show you and look at this. I love the high gloss, all the high gloss, easy to clean and maintain. You're gonna go in here and look at this latch. This latch is just a crazy robust latch. You also have a latch down here on the floor to hold it in place. You do have the cassette toilet. These cassette toilets are pretty nice. They do have this swivel option in case you wanna sit sideways in here. I don't know why you would, but these cassette toilets are awesome. I am a huge fan of them. They're easy to pull out and go dump. You know, if you're out in the wilderness, you can go to a pit toilet you know, in the national forest. And it just allows you to be able to really stay off grid as long as possible. And this is a good amount of space. I'm 260 pounds. I'm, I got I'm very broad shoulders. And this is with the door shut. 
when you close this, you have an extra half an inch and then your toilet paper holder right here, when it comes up, it'll be right here, which is at the perfect spot. That's where you want it. Nice little base in here and just lots and lots and lots of storage throughout this entire trailer. All these storage compartments right here. And they have little lips right there so things can't just fall out when you open it up as easily. You can put little bins in there and would hold in really nicely. And that nice soft clothes. Got your fan and then the shower. Let's go check the shower out really quick. Here we are coming into the shower. This is a massive shower. Look at this. I'm not, I can't even touch the walls from this side to this side. Oh, this side a little bit less, but you got a nice little shower wand right here that you can be able to pull out and psh, psh, whatever you need, right? Um, got a little soap tray, towel rack, fan, of course. Now this is the most important thing for you uh, couples that are getting closer to retirement age. You don't want a tight, tight bathroom. And say if you're showering and you drop a bar of soap, let's pretend this is a bar of soap. We drop the bar of soap. The question is, can I bend over and pick up the bar of soap? There you have it. I bent over, picked up the bar of soap. So lots of space. This is an all one piece molded fiberglass. So you're not ever gonna deal with any leakage around the corners or the edges. That's very, very important in an off-road trailer or any trailer of that. Let's head on over to the bedroom area and show you that and then finish outside. Okay, coming back over to this side of the trailer in the bedroom area, let's talk about this fridge really quick. This little clip is really cool because this does have a latch, but this is just an extra precaution that they put on these. And these fridges are pretty good size, 152 liter refrigerator and freezer. We have our fridge packed for six people and we've actually been making food for 12 people, even the NBC crew last night. Up here, you have your BM Pro. This is a really cool system. I just learning more and more about these trailers, but this is an actual management system for your entire charging system, your truck, your tow vehicle, your solar, shore power. So a lot of trailers, they'll have kind of multiple systems. The BM Pro does everything together and it integrates. It also has power sharing where you can actually, while you're driving down the road, your tow vehicle can be towing and solar will be towing at the same time. So it actually will bring in both of that power together. So this is essentially your solar charge controller, your shore power converter charging system, and it's all automatic. You just plug it in. I, at home, I just plugged it in and a little outlet appeared and it started charging. I'm coming over to here. We have the booth area. These are really plush, nice, nice upholstery. These have some kickstands so you can actually bring that up and then you can kind of kick your feet up and turn it into like a lounge essentially. Let me show you. So you kind of sit back here and grab your book and, you know, read it and just relax and enjoy yourself. Also, the television is over here, which means you can kind of swing that out and sit here and watch some movies, watch a game. And then you just have a little lever right there that closes that. This will also drop down into a bed. And this is a really cool system. I just was playing with this the other day. It's just, there's a little latch right here. And then this, this leg right here, this just goes like that. And then it drops down like that. You see that? That's super cool and really easy system. And so it just, when you're done, you just lift it up, you put it right there. There's a little lever up here that locks it in. And then this leg right here, you just pull this lever and then it just flips back down and then you turn it into the table. Over here, we have the bed area. This is a queen size bed, true queen size bed. So you can bring in your own mattress. I'm camping in the 17 family and I brought my favorite mattress, which I sleep on like a baby when I sleep on it. So when you're out camping, going for a long time, you wanna be comfortable. Now the mattresses that they do come with are actually really nice. Our camera guys slept in some mattresses. You slept great, right? Yeah, I slept great. Yeah, so it's about an eight inch with a pillow top spring. I'm pretty picky on my mattresses personally. So I just did my own mattress, so. And then of course you have storage up through here. Uh, these are not super deep, but you're actually able to put a lot of stuff in here. Once you start packing, you realize there's actually a lot more storage as you just kind of get stuff organized to your liking. Let's head outside, walk around and end this thing. Okay, now let's finish around the rest of the trailer. One of the things I do want to mention is these Aussie traveler doors. 
These doors are really cool. Probably the most robust screen door I've ever seen. This is all metal, aluminum. So if you have a dog inside, it's also lockable. So you can lock it up, go for a hike, leave the dog inside, turn on the fan and have some nice airflow in here. And there's no way it's getting out of this thing. It's a tri-mark, so it has a tri-locking mechanism, which means it locks right here, here, and here. And this is really important because when you're off-roading, trailers can kind of torque and bend a little bit and sometimes doors can pop open. This type of door will never open while you're out on a trail. Um, and then of course you just shut it up like that. You also have a latch to hold it open and then you have a little tray that pops down for some extra prep or just storing stuff while you're out camping. Coming over here, of course we have the two spare tires. This is pretty generic. These are a mud train tire and they are 235, 73 with a 16 inch rim. Coming around, you also do have the Tough Track and the Mega Hub. Something that's really unique about the, uh, the Mega Hub, it has one of the largest spindles in the industry in Australia. It's one of the toughest control arm, A arm suspension systems in all of Australia. And MDC is very proud of this system. 12 inch hub, Timken bearings. There's a bunch of video series called the Master Classes where Steve goes and teaches you how to maintain and keep these things going down the road without any issues. They tow phenomenal. I haven't towed the East West. I've towed the 16, I've towed the 15E and the 17 family, 80 miles per hour. That's our speed limit in Utah. Just cruising straight down the road. I've been very, very impressed. Um, over here, that's your access to the cassette toilet. And then of course you have the outside shower. This right here is a clip that comes and you can install and put an outside shower. And then of course you have a light at night. And then they have the city water and the fills and your Truma. Not going into crazy amount of detail just because I will have a full tour at some point. This is a big storage area. And listen, this is something that I wanna point out. Look, they have a little light right here. And you think, well, obviously it's a compartment. Why would you not have a light? You, you would be shocked how often manufacturers and trailer companies don't do simple details like this. I was talking with Steve last night around the campfire and Vaughn, and Vaughn's the owner. And Steve said, you know, Shane, one of the reasons why the MDC trailer product is so much better than almost anything out on the market, he says it's because Vaughn actually goes out and camps and uses these trailers. So he's constantly improving and finding things that will allow a better experience in the trailer. And that's really important. In America, some of the RV manufacturers in the past, in their beginning stages, that's when you see the most innovations happening because the owners of the company actually go out and use these trailers. They camp in the trailers. They go with their customers. They hear feedback, right? And that's so, so powerful. That's a unique thing that you have at ROA Off-Road with our crew. You know, the owner, everybody at ROA, we're using the trailers and we're truly, truly uh, users. And that gives you a unique experience because we can talk to you on how the trailer should be used and how do you utilize them. Same thing with MDC. The owner, he's involved, he's using the trailers, he's camping in the trailers. He's here in Utah with us in February doing an off-road adventure. And, and you just, you can't, you'll never get the same experience working with a manufacturer where it's a big, you know, corporate layers of people. You know, when you have those people that are using them, camping in them, it just makes your experience so much different. So there you have it, the MDC. I'll go into more detail in the future. Stay tuned, subscribe. We're also gonna have some really cool adventures and you're gonna wanna see this stuff. We're taking them to Moab. We're gonna go on a Jeep trail and that's gonna be exciting. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to go check out the other tours. The 16, if you, if you wanna see the North South bed, go check out the 16 Island. Also go to MDC's YouTube channel. They have like almost a thousand videos on YouTube. And if you wanna learn more about this product, you can go binge watch those videos till your heart is content. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.